Okay, the first step for your project is that you are going to have to download the videos that you have stored on your Dropbox and you are going to upload them to JCut so they can be edited. The first thing we're going to do is go to your Dropbox site. I've already logged into my Dropbox site and I've already have some videos uploaded. Your screen may look a little bit more different than mine, but what you really want to find is a file that probably ends in MP4 or it looks like a piece of white paper and a film strip. So what we have to do is download this to our computer. Check it off and then you can right click on the file and go to download file. If you just click on the file it's gonna play it but we have to save it to the H drive near computer. So then go to save file tell it to go OK and you need to know where you're saving it. You could put it on your H drive which may run out of space or you could put it on the computer that you're currently at which would be the C drive if you have that option but wherever you save it just make sure you know where it's going to be saved and then save it. So I'm going to put it on my H drive under my pictures and I hit save. Now what it's going to do it's going to download this off of Dropbox so while that downloads I'm going to pause the clip and then we're going to go back to it later okay so now my downloading from Dropbox is complete so I'm now going to put it into JCut you can see here these little film clips are previous film clips that I have already uploaded to JCut but now I'm going to get the one that I just did so I need to upload and we're going to go to video and if you don't see your screen or it's too big or too small you can always go with the maximize option so that you have everything in a nice neat box then find the button that says add media it's stored on my computer and I hit next and I'm going to browse for the file and like I said before I had it saved on my H drive under my pictures I will click on that file uh, in this case I'm just going to get any video right now you can also upload music this way and pictures and anything else that you may have so there's that clip that I had stored hit open and then I hit upload the process will take a little while I would recommend you do a bunch of files in one shot and then be done with it it's also a good idea to work with shorter video clips because there is a limit on how much the video can take at one time and you can see the process is uploaded now so that's it if you have any questions the next step is now we're gonna have to start edit everything that we have stored on JCut so download from Dropbox upload to JCut